Save the Children have released a very powerful sequel to their most shocking second a day video that amassed 50 million views on YouTube. You may have seen it. Now, the new film follows a young girl who just happens to be beside me here this morning, uh, forced to leave home after a hypothetical war breaks out in London, of all places. Uh, we'll hear from Lily Rose, who is the star, in a second. But first, a look at the new video. Merry Christmas. How are we supposed to get from there to there? Just take the things that you need. See you there. City under siege. Checkpoint! Constant meeting! You've only got enough for one. Oh my god, no! I will find you. You bring me when you get back. I'm not getting on the boat without you. Oh my word, I mean, that is that is really scary. And uh, Jess Crumby, first of all, before we talk to Lily Rose, um, although we say this is in London, obviously the meaning, the whole message that you're trying to get out is to maybe make London people or British people in general think about what's happening elsewhere. That's right. I mean, this is a fictional film, but it's not a fictional situation. We based the film and the script on real situations that happened to real children. And um, the, the terrifying journey that you see Lily making there is the real, real situation that kids are making when they're trying to seek safety crossing the Mediterranean, trying to, sure. to find a safer life for themselves and their families. Lily Rose, how old are you? I'm 13. 13? Yeah. Um, I have to say, that looked pretty scary. Everything that I saw there was quite depressing. Did it have a bit of an effect on you? How did you work yourself up into that sort of state of fright? Um, well, we'd done like a form of research, but instead of physically doing it online, we met up with a Syrian family <clears throat> who had had to make that journey over from Syria. Um, we just had a conversation with them about what they had to do and what they went through, what they had to leave behind, and it just kind of got me into the mindset of thinking, this has happened to me yes. when it hasn't. Yeah, and if we show here, maybe we can see um, Lily Rose in, in the water situation here as well, which um, maybe really impacts it, but the, the leap of faith that you have to take is that, you know, these people from Syria aren't that far away, really, mm. um, a few hours by aeroplane and, and yet it cosmopolitan cities like London so uh, I suppose that's the that's the analogy isn't it in terms of it happened to cities that were going about their normal business kids going to school people going to work same could happen to London I think the point is that this kind of situation could happen to everyone people in Syria were living a, a life just like just like ours their kids were going to school they had health care they had infrastructure and then a civil war broke out and now people find themselves in this kind of situation yeah. well that is a clever idea the role reversal thing and and, and and to show which is Lily Rose was saying there that their lives previously may not have been that much different than the lives that that we all know and experience here in this country so if your conscience is moved by this, if this, if this gets you to think this could be us, uh, what do you want people to do? How can people help? We want people to share the film, first of all. We know that this kind of content has a massive impact, that it really does change public opinion and, it, and that it puts pressure on world leaders to make the right decisions for these people. We're also asking people to donate money to save the children. If you can donate anything at all, £3.50 can feed a family of five for a day. And so we know that even a, you know, a, gen, a, a, a donation like that can make a real difference. The British public have been so incredibly generous, but it's not over yet. These people still need our help. Lily, Lily Rose, you, you've put yourself in, in the shoes of a, of, of a child lots of children coming yeah. from Syria. What, what did it make you think after you'd completed that commercial? It made me feel like how privileged I am, but if I hadn't have done this, I wouldn't have realised how many things I actually do take for granted. And there are so many things that we have that children in Syria don't have. Like, they don't really have a proper education due to having to move around a lot due to bombings. But I'm lucky that I don't have to move often. So I'm in one place and it just makes you realise how many things you have that maybe people across the world don't have. You felt have. sorry for them. Yeah. And Jeff, I first saw this video on Facebook and I would imagine that social media is a big tool in getting people to see this film and people of Lily Rose's age to identify with it because obviously a lot of adults watch the news and programmes like Sky News and find out about the situation, mm -hmm. but it's the younger generations who perhaps 
don't have an insight into what's going on. That's right. This is a sequel to the film called Most Shocking Second Day that we released two years ago. And that film amassed 53 million views on YouTube and nearly the same again on Facebook. And yeah, it was a brilliant way of getting it to people who, like you say, might not have been might have known about the situation and making sure that they know about it and that they, therefore they can care about it. And the response to the last film, and we hope the response to this film, was just astonishing. People were so generous and so engaged with the situation. Where, where can you see this? You can see it on Facebook, you can see it on YouTube, and you can go to Save the Children's site, savethechildren.org.uk, and um, you can have a look at it there as well. Thanks, Jess. Lily Rose, thank you very much indeed. And just uh, you know, a reminder of the reality of all of this. Uh, we're talking about 325,000 children who have now crossed the Mediterranean and the Aegean Sea fleeing war, uh, poverty and persecution. 340 of them have drowned since last September, which is an average of two a day. Two a day. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, with that, we'll take the break. We've got some uh, breaking news coming in from Munich uh, after that, and we have got a preview of the big stories that we'll be covering right after this short break.